welcome to your PDA and this is Shabda. So let's practice one of the very interesting sentence equivalents and this is our exercise number 87. Don't forget to watch the previous ones because we have covered many different tricks and now we will practice it soon with different methods. Right? So what is this based on? This is a context based also and even you can use it with the sentence uh, you can say the elimination method. Do not get confused with such options if such options appear like aggrieved by, aggrieved with. So these are actually the phrasal verbs, right? So here a preposition is used with the, you can say, some of the adjective and the verb. So that is why these are the phrasal verbs. The meaning remains same if even if they are accompanied by, by, with or something like that. Okay. So let's read the sentence. It's a very easy one. Okay. Multi-level marketing schemes prey on people now there are different marketing schemes like if you're watching shark tank india and all that so they tell that lots of money spent on the marketing i tell you recently we just come from uh, there is a ludo or something that is a game which is uh, flourishing too much like every actor is promoting i don't even remember the exact name shahid kapoor and all that that try to play it out and you're gonna win lots of rewards and all that and after that it is written that it is on your own risk so what they're actually trying to promote is these are the marketing stunts so marketing uh, schemes prey that is they capture on people dash promises what kind of a promises do such marketing things make that you will get an idea let's read the next promises what they promise quick riches sales rewards rewards and such as fancy cars and vacations vacations do you think that actually happens no so what kind of a promises they can be they can be the fake or you can say false promises now we need to have something that is related to false and fake. Now first is aggrieved by. Aggrieved, we have a lot of words. Something, someone that is angry, hona, gussa, hona, offend, hona, ya upset. Hona, right? So that is your aggrieved by. Second is beguiled by. Beguiled by means when you are attracted by something. When you are charmed by something. Attracted, charmed, right? You get player with that thing. So something that you like really, that is termed as your beguiled by. Third is enamored with. What do you mean by enamored with? Enamored with means that you are in love with something. You are infatuated with that thing. That you really like that thing, that is termed as enamored with. Next is obsessed by. Obsessed by means when you are constantly talking about something. You are talking about that thing, you like to talk about someone a lot. So that is termed as obsessed by someone right vexed vexed ka matlab kya hota hai? that is you having a difficulty or debate or that is when you're very annoyed okay you're worried about something you're annoyed by something so that is termed as vexed and the last is possessed possessed by means that is something that is completely controlling down your spirit you're controlled by something but then a possession aage uske upar ya humne wo cheez pe possession tal liya so you are controlled by that thing. That is termed as possession. Now we have to see something that is related to fake and false. Okay? Aggrieved by. Gussa dilane wali baat nahi ho rahi hai. Koi promises honge. Marketing wale gussa nahi dilayenge. So this is a wrong. So you can cancel it. Beguiled hum soch sakte hain. Kyunki charm attracted. Shayad aap ho sakte ho. Enamored with. Infatuated. Attracted. Ho sakte ho. That is also like that. Obsessed by. Obsessed nahi hote. Aap baat te nahi hote rathe. Uske baare mein marketing mein baat nahi karte. Marketing aapko kya karte hai? Attract karte hai. So ye nahi ho sakta. Vexed. I don't think so. You're worried about something. No. Negative to aayega hai. Na hi aap control hote hai. So these are the two options. That means that you're getting charmed. You're getting attracted. You really like that thing. And you want that thing. Ki haan. Kaash mujhe bhi prizes milenge. I will also get gifts. So that are the, these are the two positive and good words. Right? So expression kya di hui hai? For the schemes. To prey on people. Those people would need to want what is being advertised. Beguiled by, enamored with mean, lured by or infatuated with, obsessed by and possessed by, go too far, aggrieved and fixed are negative. So these are the two options that is beguiled and enamored with. Beguiled means to attract or entrust someone. And these sentences are written actually to make a habitual pattern. You keep on using these words in a sentence also. The car salesman tried to beguile the customer with an offer of for free grass for a year. 
enamored your love in a person you really like that thing or a person because i was so enamored of her boyfriend i had to see him constantly jane is enamored with tennis and play the sports every day aggrieved when you're angry or you are resentful due to unjust treatment someone who's doing that to you obviously you will get angry to that person so that is parking almost 15 feet from the corner the aggrieved driver tore up the ticket he received for the parking too close to the intersection right so that's a simple one you can eliminate it easily don't get confused if there are phrasal verbs used in the options they're very simple just target out what the meaning is there what the context actually needs positive answer negative answer eliminate the other one you get the two options very easily the more you practice keep on practicing soon you will be master on these sentences take care and have a nice day